the release. You can see that the, the towers are completely uh, collapsed, so you need to reassemble a, a new one and, and get the lines also fixed. So that, that's the extent of what that they, they are doing. But under normal circumstances, how, how what should the distance between a mast and you know such uh, you know transmission lines be like? Because I'm thinking that it shouldn't have that close for it to be able to fall and then you know disrupt uh, the the the, uh, the lines and then we are you know are being affected by it. Well, unfortunately, that is what happened. Uh, I really don't know the the book also unclear where this happened but the pictures are there for everybody but what i'm asking is what should be the distance between a communication mast and that of the grid co uh, you know transmission lines because if it's not that close even if it should fall it will not disrupt her well i can't tell that one maybe the other the grid co or uh, the, the telcos should be able to tell us but what is the standard thing is there something that you don't know about now for the as for the towers it's uh, 50 meters on the right, 50 on the left. So so that's how far uh, it should be. But mm. you know that the masts are usually very tall. Mm. And, and, and and I don't know even how it collapsed. I don't know whether it is due to galaxy activities or whether uh, you know, it's the, the weather that, that had the heavy dose on it. I don't know why and how it happened. But that's the reality. And again, for a country that, you know, touts itself for having a lot of generation in the system, how come we don't have alternatives such that if this one is affected, we can fall on a backup and then supply power to people whilst the system is being worked on? Well, Dave, it's not easy. It's not as easy as that. Uh, the transmission system is a very complex uh, uh, network. It's not very easy. Ideally, it will be the best thing, but it needs a lot of investment. It needs a lot of engineering and a whole lot. So you know, it's, it's very easy said than done. Uh, uh, we, we, are, we are not completely a, a developed country. We are developing. So some of these things will take time before we can have a complete system or network that you can easily have redundancy from left or right, and as soon as something happens here, nobody will see it. It will just be quickly uh, fix within the system. We are trying our best, though, but we are not there yet. After 64 years of independence, we're still not there yet. Now, uh, <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a laughing matter, Mr. Bedou. It's not a laughing not matter at all. At all. I understand. Mm. So let me ask this other question. Based on what is happening, how come we don't have...